in our recent article in the American Scientist, we uh, describe a lot of different policy proposals, not just ones that we invented ourselves, but mainly ones colleagues across the country have already discussed. Uh, there are things such as if a person is going to have a child, allowing them the opportunity to segue off full-time tenure track to some fraction, could be 80%, 50%, 20%, some fraction that they negotiate, that they feel comfortable with for some limited period of time, and then they segue back to 100% tenure track. Partner hires. Partner hires, or at least the facilitation of partner hires, because the research shows that when two members of a couple in graduate school are both interested in academic careers, it's unsurprisingly often the case that the man takes the career move that he's offered and women follow. And they tell themselves things like, oh, I'll just break in later. I'll take several years off and then I'll get back into it. Or it won't matter that I have this gap in my CV. I'll find something where he is for a while, then we'll work it out. And invariably, it doesn't work out. And so at the inception of a two family, two couple, you know, situation where you have these jobs that you have to, to get. If, if the university is more invested in helping couples to both find jobs in that same community, then you start out with a better potential outcome right from the start. So that's clearly a very important strategy. A lot of people talk about the importance of daycare or childcare, emergency childcare for sick kids, those kinds of things. It's easy to say it and very few people seem to do it well, but when people feel that their university does offer good care, they're very quick to use it and very happy with it. So that's clearly something that's relevant for universities to pursue. 